Prior to C++ was programmed to convert an infix expression to its corresponding postfix expression. We will be able to convert an infix expression into postfix expression by using stack. Generally, in postfix expression, every binary operator expressions are represented first operands followed by operator. For example, if a plus b is an infix expression, in postfix it will be represented by using a b plus. Generally, a postfix expressions are known as reverse polish form, which is generally used by the computer system to evaluate an expression it will, because it will eliminate the parentheses which are generally used in infix expressions to uh, represent the precedence of the operators. We are using a stack in build stack, which is there in C++. We are not creating a stack data structure here. We are performing only the algorithm which is required for the conversion of infix into corresponding postfix expression. So while we are converting an infix into postfix, we need to check various different constraints like we have to check whether the element what we are taking if it is an operator or if it is an operand. So we are writing different methods for that. And while we are performing a stack operations, we have to check whether the operator has equal or higher precedence. So two operators need to be checked. If it is equal or higher precedence, we have to perform the pop operations from the stack according to the algorithm to convert an infix into postfix. So we are writing number of method. First one is operator to check uh, it is an operator, is operand to check it is an operand. And equal or higher is used to check two operators which is having an equal or higher precedence. And another method which is convert, it takes a parameter which is a string. That's an infix, it takes a parameter as infix and it returns postfix as a result. In the main method, we are creating two string i and p, i for in, infix expression and p for postfix expression. Inside a do while loop, because we are repeating the process of conversion of infix into postfix multiple times depending on user choice. So we accept an infix expression from the user into a variable i. We are using getLine method. So it reads a string and gets stored into i. And we call the method convert. Convert will convert infix into postfix. So created postfix, the converted postfix gets stored into the variable p that can be displayed. So after conversion, we are displaying both infix and postfix expression. Infix is stored in the variable i and postfix is stored in the variable p. After that, we display user choice to repeat the process as 0 or 1. If user enter number is 1, it keep on repeating. So in the while, we write the condition. User choice 0 or 1 is accepted in the variable ch. So we have to call cn.ignore which will erase all the elements which are currently present in the input stream because we have to repeatedly call getLine method. So if ignore method is not called, it shows the error. So as long as the value of ch is 1, the loop will keep on repeating.
First, we are defining the first method, which is is operator, which is used to check a character is an operator symbol or not. So we check whether this character C, the parameter C is either plus, minus, multiplication, division or exponent. For exponent, we are using a tilde symbol as an operator. So we are limiting this many number of operators for our expressions. That means while we are entering, we have to give operators either plus, minus, multiplication, division or exponent. So if the character C is either plus, minus, multiplication, division or a tilt, which is used for representing exponent, we return the value as true because they are operator. Otherwise, we return false. That means it's not operator. The character is not an operator. If this condition is true, we return true. Otherwise, we return false. Next, we are defining the second method, which is named as is operand, which is used to check a character is an operand or not. We are limiting the program like every operand must be either a single character, either 0 to 9 or A to Z, A to Z either capital or small letter. So while we are giving the input, we have to give the operand either 0 to 9, A to Z, either small or uppercase. So if the character C is either 0 or 9, in between 0 and 9, we return true or if it is in between A and Z, small, smaller case, then also we return true. If it is capital case, then also we return true. In any other case, we return false. So if it is the character is not in between 0 to 9, in between A to Z, either small or uppercase. So it returned false. Next, we are defining one method which is used to find out a precedence of operator. We are actually defining a different precedence for each of the operator. Depending on the precedence, we need to perform the stack pop operations. So if the symbol, if the operator we are using is either plus or minus, we define the precedence as one. It is having a lower precedence. If the operator is multiplication or division, we define the precedence as 2. And if the operator is an exponent, we define the precedence as 3. So in this particular example program, we are defining only three precedence operators. So we have either plus minus, which is having a precedence 1, Multiplication division, precedence 2, and the most higher precedence is exponent, which is returning the value 3. Other case, we return as 0. Now, we are defining a method which is named as equal or higher precedence. So, we are checking like two operator has an equal or higher precedence. So if the operator OP1 has a higher precedence than OP2, it returns the value as true. So first we are fetching the precedence of OP1 by calling get precedence. Similarly, get precedence method is called to find out the precedence of OP2. 
So we get the operator precedence of OP1 and OP2. Then if P1 and P2 has equal precedence, so if it is having equal precedence, we have to actually return the value true. But if the operator both OP1 and OP2 is exponent, we have to return the value as false because the exponent operator, if it comes together, it has right to left associativity, not from left to right. For example, if A raised to B raised to C, if that is an expression, B raised to C will get performed first. That means if two operators exponent comes together, the associativity is from right to left. So we return false if operator is exponent. Otherwise, we return true because it is having equal precedence. Or if it is having a greater precedence also, we return true. Otherwise, we return false. So in this case, equal or higher, we compare the precedence of OP1 and OP2. If it is equal or greater, we return true. Otherwise, we return false. But only a special condition is with exponent. So if exponent case, we have to return as false because its associativity is from right to left. We define the method convert, which is used to convert an infix into postfix expression. Infix is a parameter. We define postfix, a variable, a string variable. We create a stack object S. So according to the algorithm to convert an infix into postfix, the first, the left parenthesis need to be pushed into the stack. So we call s dot push of left parenthesis. And a right parenthesis need to be appended at the end of an infix expression. So we write infix plus equal right parenthesis, the close parenthesis. Now, by taking each of the element from the infix expressions, so we are taking each of the element from the infix expression one by one. So from zero till the length, each of the element from the infix. So we write infix of i, which is gets stored into the variable ch. Now we have a various conditions to check if ch is blank, we have to neglect, we have to continue the process, we have nothing to do. Else if the CH is a left parenthesis, if it is a left parenthesis, we have to simply push the left parenthesis into the stack. So we write s dot push of ch. Else if it is an operand, so else we have to check whether ch is operand. So we call the method is operand. So if it is an operand, we have to simply attach the operand into the postfix expression. So postfix expressions will get concatenated with the operand symbol. Next we check whether the element we have taken is an operator. If it is an operator, we have multiple conditions to check. We have to check whether the stack is empty or not. As long as the stack is not empty and the operator which is present at the top has the higher precedence, higher or equal precedence, the top element has to be popped and get attached into the postfix expression. All the operator from the stack need to be popped and get attached into the postfix expression 
as long as it is having a higher precedence or equal precedence. And finally, the new operator will get pushed into the stack. If the new element is a closed bracket, that is right parenthesis, We have to check as long as the value of stack is not empty and the top element of the stack is not left parenthesis. So till we get left parenthesis, we have to pop the element from the stack and get attached into the post fake expression. So we write postfix plus equal s dot top. And that will be popped from the stack. So we write s dot pop. And finally, we have to call s dot pop once again in order to remove the left parenthesis from the stack. So these are the multiple conditions we have to check for conversion in fix into post fix. First we check whether it is a white space and we continue if it is left parenthesis, left parenthesis will be pushed into the stack. If it is an operand attached to the post fix expression, if it is an operator, as long as the operator has a greater or equal precedence in the stack, it needs to be popped and attached to the post fix expression. And finally, the operator need to be inserted, pushed into the stack. If it is a right parenthesis, as long as the top element is not left, it need to be popped and attached to the post fix expressions. And finally, the left parenthesis need to be popped from the stack. Top is a function, so some syntax errors. Execute and see the program output. So when we enter an infix expression, it will display its corresponding postfix expression. Thank you for watching this tutorial.